ExxonMobil shareholders voted for the 14th consecutive year to reject a resolution that would have added non-discrimination uh, protections for their LGBT employees. I mean, what, really? Is that 14 years in a row? Guys, what are you doing? Fred, I know this is right in your wheelhouse. You, you've been an LGBT activist for a long time. You've taken on Exxon amongst many other companies. Uh, wh where does this come from? How in 2013, with all the progress, are they a bunch of stodgy white men, that's what I picture them as, uh, sitting in an office and going, no, I'm not gonna, you know, we're gonna keep discriminating against the gays. I, one word, Texas. <laughs> They're Texas-based, you know, largest company in the corporation in the world. Uh, kind of goes back and forth, but when they took over mobile, which had a good track record uh, on LGBT rights, they, they threw those out and kept their discrimination. And the Human Rights Campaign, the largest LGBT political organization, rates the top thousand corporations in yep. the U.S. And from a zero to a hundred, well, now they've given Exxon Mobil a twenty-five, a minus a twenty-five. A negative. I have the no, negative they've twenty-five. They've never done that. Before. Didn't even get a zero. So yeah, I did a commercial. I took on Exxon Mobil for a very good reason when I was uh, actually campaigning about a year ago. Not only because of their abysmal civil rights record, but because of their gas pricing and gouging of the American public, which hurt our economy. And we need to get aggressive against these companies. I've been leading a boycott of Amway because yeah. they gave half a million dollars to take away gay marriage in uh, states all over the country. I think we need to boycott companies like Exxon. They uh, earned $9.8 billion in the first quarter of the year, an astronomical amount of money. But if we can hit them in the pocketbook, I think we will get them to come around and do the right thing. Yeah, is money and boycotting the, like what, what's going on here? Is that the only way we can affect these guys? Because they seem to only care about money, right? This is, is this about try, them trying to do what they view as the right thing? Yeah, like I can boycott. You know, I'll try real hard to boycott, but I don't think everyone's gonna boycott, you know, right. mobile. I mean, the, the, the thing you can do, you, know, you can't say like, don't, don't visit Exxon Mobile, you know, get, I guess you can actually. You can say, listen, you're at a corner, there's three yeah. gas stations, just don't go to that one. Right. But that, go but to BP, because they're all, they're doing a lot yeah, of good stuff. Yeah, go to BP. So <laughs> what do we do? We're going to try to like check off the ones that haven't totally screwed people up yet. Right. But Shell, I think they're okay. Are they Shell, okay? Shell, Shell has the best. They have a hundred rating on HRC. I love it. Right, I love that Berkshire go. Hathaway beat out <laughs> ExxonMobil <laughs> by scoring zero <laughs> points. Right. Isn't that bonkers? It's so, insane. So what do we do here? Because right, you're not going to, look, us, a few couple people that are for gay rights, not going to Exxon, all right, fine. But is this just like one of these things where corporations, it's like Walmart dumping you know, tons of stuff into the ocean and then paying an $80 million fine, it means nothing to them. Mm -hmm. Like, is this sort of like, we just can't stop these guys. We, we yeah, it's so hard, yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I mean, yes, sorry, everyone yeah. go out there and boycott Exxon Mobil. But I just like thinking about it in terms of, of you're voting, it's not like you're not voting for it, you're literally voting against it. Right. As if to say, come on, it's so fun to discriminate against gay people. Yeah. That's our one thing, let's let, it, just let us do it. Yeah, so what is going on in these boardrooms when they're voting, because as, as Brett's saying, they are literally sitting there deciding whether this is not part of a bigger uh, issue. What are they saying? What are they actually saying? Like, this is our one little secret they don't care about their employees and their customers. And it's an insult in 2013 to do this, and it's intolerable. And I say we go after these companies. I did four boycotts during the Prop 8 campaign. We ended up settling three of those with major donors to the other side, six figures and up. And so we need to put pressure on these. Go across the street to Chevron. Price is usually a little cheaper than mobile. And support our friends and don't support the enemies of equality. And I'm a firm believer in that. I'm not organizing a boycott against ExxonMobil. I did a very effective commercial which got a huge number of views. Yeah. I call their chairman Rex Tillerson, Tyrannosaurus Rex, because right. he is living in the dark ages. And we need to get some pressure on these companies to do the right thing, and it's working. Companies yeah. are looking to brag that they have 100 on HRC now. Yeah. And I want to get ExxonMobil from minus 25 up to 100. Is part of the problem here that it's the government because you know we couldn't pass the Employee Non-Discrimination Act, and not that I want the government jumping in on everything, but if we could have got that passed, then they wouldn't be allowed to get away with stuff like this. Yes, I mean, if, if you force people to do this kind of thing, then yes, they will do it. And I think that there are plenty of other you know legislative initiatives that have passed in order to move the football down the field and try to advance the cause. Um, it's just one of those things where you look at it and you're just like, I am shocked. Like, 
who 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 are these people? <laughs> yeah. What are they doing? Do they have they ever met a gay person? Yeah. And I mean a lot of their a lot of their defenses, you know, there are other portions of our training videos where we say that people should not discriminate against gay. People. It's just it is so simple for you guys to just sit around, have this vote, change it and don't tell anyone. And then a year later tell people that you changed it. Yeah. Just do it and then no one will have any reason to go complain about you. Are they on the other hand just like really vying for that like anti-gay yeah. consumer. Right. It's just like, you know, listen, I have this pump phallus and I'm putting it into my <laughs> ionic tank and I just want to do that. Yeah. You know, it's- Well, I, par I partly think you're right that it's like they never get screwed. You know what I mean? They're, they're used to always getting what they want and reaping tons of profits from it. So it's like for them to cave to the gays right. about a little something would be so catastrophic in their minds because they run the show when it comes to public policy and, po and politics and everything else. Uh, they, their profits are just astronomical and we need to keep the pressure on them in the pocketbook where it hurts. And I'm convinced they will come around like all these other companies. You know, Saks, which has, of course, a huge number of LGBT associates, they call them, and of certainly course. customers in New York and Beverly Hills and San Francisco, they have a zero rating with the HRC too. I think it's important to get that information out right. so people know, don't go to Saks, go to Bloomingdale's that has a 90 or go to Nordstrom's that has a 100. I'd much rather support our friends and right. I think that's important. And there's, it's, there's no company that's too big to, to boycott. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure Saks has a couple gay employees. <laughs> what? You, you think there might be one or two there? Uh, yeah, it's, there's no monetary benefit for them to, to have this policy, you know? Yeah. There's only monetary n n negative fallout. Yeah. You know, no one, I don't think anyone's flocking to them because they hate gay people. So I ju it's just puzzling. <laughs> it has the men's department. Exxon, do it for the money, if nothing else, if that's all you guys can respond to.